so we can begin. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Chinese Bridge Competition here in Barbados. This competition is brought to you by the Confucius Institute at the University of the West Indies, Cape Hill Campus, in partnership with the Embassy of the People's Republic of China here in Barbados. We have an exciting program planned for you all, and we hope that you enjoy viewing it as much as you have enjoyed I would first like to acknowledge our five judges who have graciously accepted our invitation to critique our contestants today. First, we have Dr. Janice Remy, our representative from the office of the principal here at campus. Councillor Xing Hua Huang, representative from the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. Mr. Zhou Zhongfeng, president of the Chinese Association of Barbados. Mr. Shea Harbin, president of the Barbados China Return Scholars Association. And last but certainly not least, Dr. Lee Renyan, co-director of the Confucius Institute at the University of the West Indies Capital Campus. Thank you all for your assistance in the process thus far. Secondly, I'd like to extend a big welcome to our students and participants for being here with us today. Without you, there is no competition. We appreciate the time and effort that you have placed into the competition and the eagerness and interest with which you have displayed in regards to not only the competition, but in learning Mandarin on a whole. We are all looking forward to seeing your entries and progress so far. Thank you all. This year's entries will include a two minute on the spot speech in Chinese with focus on this year's theme, Tianxia Yijia, or One World, One Family and a video recording of a performance piece no longer than five minutes. Students will be assessed on expression, deportment, pronunciation, and artistry. This year's theme is, as I've said before, One World, One Family, and I look forward to seeing our participants' interpretation. Our participants this year will be for the tertiary level, Stephen Waldron, Alexander Atlau, and Aaliyah Rose T. Winners of the competition will also be awarded prizes. First place winners will receive a $600 Barbados gift voucher. Second place winners will receive a $400 gift voucher. And third place winners will receive a $200 gift voucher. Now, without further ado, let us begin with our competition. Our first contestant will be Stephen Waldron. Is Stephen here already? He does it when you share a video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. He might have to share a video. Yes. Uh, yeah, she is. Yes. Is she there? Yes. Sorry, yes. And everyone here, man, see me? Maybe I have to stop sharing. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right, Steven, whenever you're ready, you can hear. Steven, we cannot hear you. Um, can can you hear me? Can you hear me from here? Your mic might be muted, Steven. And can you hear me now? Okay. All right. Everyone can hear me, right? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. 大家好，我叫祥启文，我的乡野是软乡工乡，我养乡的题目是。天下宜家 
都是同一个大家庭的一部分。如果我们不和谐相处，我们就没有正常的生活。但是不成钱，独木不成林。我们生活在同一个世界，同一个家庭。由于家庭成成员的无知、偏见和分歧，这个家庭的很多角落都遭受。的太多的痛苦，这真的很可怕。是想办法克服这些问题，还是最终走向分裂？我的回答是：有了相互理解，我们就不会分裂。我们不能只根据封面来判断一本书，同样只看到别人有我们不同，就以为了解了他们，这这是不对的。真正理解别人，需要了解他们的信仰和需求。并做去妥协，这就是我们建立的人类社会的方式，这就是我们建立的和谐人类的大家庭的方式。谢谢。Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Stephen.、Um, now we will move on to our second contestant, which is Alexander Atlo. Alexander, are you prepared? Yes, please.、Um, can you all hear and see me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. We can see you. Okay. 大家好，我叫 Alex。小文静，刚才。Pardon me. Ah, there we go. Um, are you ready? Yes, please. Great. Uh, ready to launch? Sorry. Great. Thank you. Whenever you're ready. Okay. 大家好，我叫 Alex。小文静，刚才。专业的学生，我研究的题目是“天下一家”。新冠肺炎爆发以来，防疫措施和路线相接，使我们很难和一国他乡的亲人、朋友们见面。我们也不能面对面办公和上课。Zoom 视频会议和腾讯视频会议的官方应用。使我们有亲人、朋友重新建立了亲密的联系。即使个早、失败、失钱、盈利的努力或海洋，我们也不再感到孤单和害怕。视频会议的官方应用实现实现了想象各种教学，实现了让更多的普通人也能。三家高端学术会议，人们还将视频会议用在大型聚会、俱乐部活活动和其他社交活动上。二十一世纪第三个十年，地理上的这个不再成为社交和工作的障碍。我们必须。重新过上的和重新定义边界和失去，连接世界的新桥梁已已经建立，它的潜力很大。我们已经真正成为
一个世界，一个失去，一个家庭。Thank you so much, Alexander. Moving on, we will have our next contestant, Alia Rose Tate. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay. Just wait one, one moment. Great. Uh, whenever you're ready, Alia, you can proceed. OK， 哎，大家好，我叫玫瑰。今天我演讲的题目是“中巴友好，天下一家”。我刚上大一的时候，就发现，在大学的棒球场地旁边，有一栋外形很有东方特色的建筑。我当时真有好奇，那栋大楼里面有什么？后来我发现，那里是孔子学院，来自中国的老师在那里教授汉语和中国文化，他们非常的热情，我和他们成为朋友。这个让我了了解到了位于地球另一半一边的中国。让我大开眼界。之后，我得到了一次难得的机会，去体验一次终身难忘的中国之旅。在那里，我遇到了许多热情好客的中国人，我们参加了很多中国的名胜古迹。我这里。我注意到我，我他们的言食、穿着、行为方式，以及他们说的语言，和我之前所遇到的完全不同。然而，他们对我非常热情友好，让我有宾至如归的感觉。我们像，我们就像一家人。我喜欢学习新事物，所以我很喜欢和中国人出去玩。我学习了中文、太极拳和中国话，还有很多东西要学习。同时，我也分享八百多次的文化。我遇到了一名，我一位名叫张学金的可爱的女士，她很棒。我们一起参加了。当地的庆祝活动，船上的 DJ 为了中国大声呐喊。他最喜欢的歌手是《Family Le 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 Le》<笑>，意思是，我们都是一个大家庭。但是世界面临许多挑挑战，星光在世界范围内流流行。将全世界是为一个大家庭非常重重重要。人类需要团结，我们必须共同抗击新冠，彼此相爱和认信任。尽管种族、文化和语言不仅相同。但全人类是一家，我们应该彼此相爱，互相帮助。谢谢。Thank you so much, Leo. Thank you. And those were our speeches from our three contestants.、Um, right now, I want to move on to the video performances.、Um, as you. As you would have heard before,、uh, the second part of our competition is、um, a talent portion.、Um, so let's see what our three contestants have in terms of their performances. Our first contestant will be. No, I don't. 
Our first contestant would be Steve O'Morgan.
，举头望明月，低头思。for that wonderful performance of Minnie's calligraphy. Now moving on to our second contestant, we have Alexander Atlow. <laughs> Zhang Shen, Gon Gon Chang Jin, Dong Shu Shui, Ming Yang Shen. Gon Gon Chang Jin. Dong Shu Shui Lang Hua Tau Jin Ying Shong Shu Fei Ching Bai Juan Tau Kong Ching Shan Yi Jiu Zai Ji Du Shi Yang Hong Bai Fa Yu Chao Zhang Zhu Shang Guan Kan Chiu Yue Chun Feng Yi Hu Jiu Jiu Shi Sheng Fen Gu Jin Duo Shao Shi Dou Fu Shao Tan Jong Thank you Alexander for that wonderful dramatic reading. Moving on to our next contestant, we have Alia Roski.
thank you, Aliyah. Um, that is the final performance from our contestants. Um, I think I can speak for everyone when I say that the submissions have not only been wonderful and entertaining, but also a glimpse at the future of Mandarin and Chinese culture in Barbados. At this time, we would like the judges to review their scores and make any amendments they may have, after which we invite one of our co-directors here at the Institute and today's official tally master, Mr. David Ogulia, with the assistance of one of our senior teachers, Mr. Alex Cho, to gather the scores and tally them up. While we wait... Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, while we wait on the final scores, we have prepared a selection of videos from the primary and secondary level of our competition for your viewing pleasure. I hope that you enjoy. Before you go. Mm -hmm. um, just a reminder to the judges, the final score sheets can be sent to uh, Mr. Bobulia by email, or you can send it to him via WhatsApp. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're already. Okay. Thank you. 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 I go to school at Charles F. Brown Memorial Primary. Genius, Swan Chen Ming Yue Guang, Isha Di Shan Shuang, Zhu Tao Wa Ming Yue, Di Tao Se Gu Shang. Ni Hao. Oh, I go to Charles F. Burns Memorial Primary School and I will tell you a poem called Jin Ye Su. Ye Su. Zhuang Chen Ming Yue Guang Yi She Di Shang Shuang Zhu Tao Wang Ming Yue Di Tao Su Gu Shang Thank you. 
How would you say you? Would you swear I go to school at Charles F. Memorial Primary School? And the poem I'm going to tell you is called Jinye Se. Jinye Se. Swang Tian Ming Yi Wei Guang. Yi Se. Di Shang Swang. Zhu Tao. Wang Ming. Wang Ming Yi Wei. Di Tao. Se Gu Xiang. one more to come. Stop. Thank you. Take now.
我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱好是我的爱
the majority of them were our winners from their respective competitions. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I have the final scores here, but before we read them off, I would like to open the floor for any remarks the judges may have about the um, excellent display of talent that we have seen here today. So if any of the judges want to say a quick word before we um, read the scores, now it's your time. And what is it? Ah, yes. Anybody can hear me? Ah, okay. Uh, so excellent uh, speeches and performance. I, 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 when I was watching, um, watching the performances, I just like, uh, so they did a very amazing job. I know Stephen just start his uh, and calligraphy very soon. Uh, at the beginner, he just is a beginner, and he he was able to. Make it for such a such a short time. I think it's one month. Very good, excellent job. And uh, Alexander, I hope I think he also made very very, very hard, very hard, and connected the videos together. Right, so he play move. And Alia Rose, and uh, she she uh, her Tai Chi her Tai Chi style really really nice, really amazing. Uh, thank you all. I yes, I really enjoyed your um, speech and your performance. Yeah, yeah, talent performance. And the same, yeah, I I know the teachers, children, teachers, Vera and Alex must spend a lot of time to, uh, helping them to do the work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Grace. Um, any of the other judges wish to have, make any remarks before we move on? You can just unmute your mic and speak, or you can just. <laughs> All right, so let's so not hold up the competition. Um, I'm going to proceed with um, the final scores. Um, our third place winner with a score of 376 points, we have Alexander Atlo. So congratulations, Alexander, on your third place position. Very well done. Um, second place with a total of 379 points, we have Stephen Walburn. So, very good job, Stephen. And of course, that means our first place winner with a score of 445 points, we have Aaliyah Rose Tate. So congratulations to our first place winner, Aaliyah. Um, I think I can speak for everybody by saying that you're very, very excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can, you know, invite our winners to, you know, say something very yeah. brief, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I will. Um, just um, our next portion, before we move on, I would also like to, uh, Allow for our winners to give a slight speech if they have. I know you've done a speech already, you've probably also spoken out, but <laughs> um, if you have any words that you wish to say, then um, we will just use this time to let you guys go ahead. So you could just unmute and speak whenever you're ready. 
Uh, I just want to say thank you to Grace, thank you to Vera, thank you to Alex, thank you to David as well. Thank you, Stefan, too. You've already been there throughout my whole journey learning Chinese. I'm very appreciative of all of you. Thank you, Olivia, and I'm sure that they all uh, are warmed by your, your, your sweet words. Uh, Alexander and Stephen, anything you guys want to add before you move on? Uh, yes, please. I just want to say thank you to everyone as well um, and for the opportunity to, to be a part of this competition. Um, I want to say a special thanks, though, to Lila Oshu um, for all her help. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, I would also like to say thank you to everyone for giving me the opportunity. I had a lot of fun here today. Um, and during the course of this time, you know, doing the talent and also here today, seeing like all my peers and it's, it, it was really heartwarming. Um, I also want to thank um, Li Lao Shi. Um, she helped me as well um, through all of it. I also um, would like to extend a thank you to my mom and my dad. Um, they were the ones holding the camera, hurting their arms and their backs. <laughs> so if they're watching in the future, um, thank you to them. Um, and yeah, thank you, thank you, to, thank you everyone, yeah. Thank you. And thank you, um, thank you guys for participating and putting so much effort into the competition. I, I'm sure that everybody here can say the same that it really um it really came through. So um so for our next portion though, I just want to invite Councillor Fong, our representative from the um Embassy of the People's Republic of China, just to make some closing remarks. Hi, good uh good morning everyone. Good morning. My distinguished guests, uh, dear friends, uh, first of all, I'd like to convey the uh, sincere greetings from uh, the ambassador Yan, Yan Xiu Sheng uh, to this today's competition. Yeah, I, you know, I, I was, I was so impressed by the competitors, competitors today, uh, and uh, congratulations to you all, and also thank you so much for the ju all judges, judgment, uh, judges, and all the teachers for your hard work. I think I'm very impressed by the uh, competitors' uh, talents, uh, especially someone can, uh, the Tai Chi can, can play Tai Chi and uh, can uh, recite the Chinese poems and someone can write the Chinese characters. It's so, you are so talented. So congratulations to all of you. And uh, during my, uh, you know, during uh, I watching uh, all the videos, and hearing uh, and see your performance, I just wondering what I want to say at the moment. Uh, I know, uh, first of all, I want to, uh, I, I just think about that. I, I need to tell you that the importance of Chinese, uh, I first, uh, at the first beginning, I just want to tell you about the importance of Chinese, uh, you know, at the, just just several several weeks ago, I I I read the news from the newspaper that the Prime Minister Mia Motley said uh, his uh, he he she she has a she has the idea that maybe in the future that all the Barbadians all the Barbadians need to learn a second language, and also she used to point out that Chinese Mandarin may be the the, the uh, one uh, one choice for Barbadians to choose. And also, uh, you, uh, I think you, uh, you guys maybe know that uh, on the 13th July, 13th July, both uh, two countries' top leaders, uh, the Prime Minister and uh, our President had a very good uh, uh, phone conversation, conversation. And also both of the top leaders are very satisfied with uh, bilateral relations. And uh, I think uh, it's also include our uh, cultural exchangement, uh, especially uh, in language studying and cultural st studying. Uh, you know, bes besides that, actually, I want to uh, 
tell you, what I want to tell you is that to study a language, a study language is not just for, for, the, for the purpose to find a good job or to find a, maybe um, to, to find a good career. Uh, you know, I think uh, it, it has more meaning. It has more meaningful than that. I think it's because it is related to human to humans uh, exchangement and also is related to people's to people's understanding. If you start decide to study a language, you have decided to engage with that country and with the people in that country. So I I I would like to congratulate you to make a right decision and I congratulate you to make a decision to engage with Chinese people with China. Uh, it just recall me, you know, it just recall me uh, why, why, why I have this kind of thought. I can share you with a story. That is uh, when I was a middle school student, I studied English and I, uh, at that time I was determined, I was determined to study foreign languages so I can communicate with foreigners. Uh, and so at the universe, uh, when, when, I, when I choose university, I choose foreign languages university. And I, I studied the Thai language as my major. So at that time, I, I had choose to engage with Thailand, with Thai people. And uh, after I graduate, I, uh, I uh, went to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and I was posted to Thailand for more than 10 years. So I just have this kind of thoughts that when you study a language, that is not means, that doesn't mean that you Maybe you can find a good job or you can get a good salary. I think more than that, you can have a very, very remarkable experience and very uh, unforgettable re experience. And that you maybe it's very uh, impressive for your, for your life. And uh, you, uh, so I think that is, uh, that is the experience from my own, for my, my, that is the feeling from my own experience. So I think I hope uh, all the competitors and uh, all the Palladian friends uh, that you choose to study Chinese, you have a chance, you have a chance to go to China, to see China, to explore China with your own eyes, and also to find out, to, to, to make friends with Chinese. Uh, I think you, you will never, you will never uh, regret your decision. That's what I want to say to you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Councillor. Um, just um, going out on his closing remarks, we're going to finish up the conversation here. Um, once again, a very big thanks to our judges, uh, Councillor Huang, who we just heard with our closing remarks, um, Dr. Remy, uh, Mr. Corbin, Mr. Joe, Dr. B. Uh, we want to thank you guys so much for um, agreeing to be our judges and for um, all of your uh, patience, considering all of the situations that we would have had to um, take on in the competition. You guys have been most accommodating, and I, I think I speak for both Grace and, and David when I say thank you, and we appreciate it very much. I also want to thank our contestants. Their work here today has been truly remarkable, and I am personally, as a teacher, very proud to see um, all the work that they have done. It's not easy learning a, a language that's not your own, and I think they did a very good job. So, so Stephen, Alexander, and Leah, thank you guys so much for all your, all your hard work, and I hope that there are more opportunities for you in the future. Uh, I also would like to take this time to thank our two co-directors of the Confucius Institute, Dr. Lee Renyan and Mr. David Bohulia. Uh, your tireless efforts to ensure the school and efficient running of the competition has surely paid off. And I would like to congratulate you both on a job well done. Thanks must also be extended to our teachers here at the Institute who wore many hats in the previous weeks. Um, our primary school teachers and secondary school teachers, along with our um, tertiary level teachers, um, Lee Laoshe and Zhao Laoshe. So excellent job to you all. And again, thank you for all your hard work. Um, lastly, I would like to extend thanks to the Embassy of the People's Republic of China. Thank you so much for your continued support. 
And we can always call on you to assist in our endeavors and for ensuring that our visions related to Chinese um, culture and the expansion here in Barbados become a reality. So thank you all and thank you for um, your attendance today. And that will be all from our Chinese version. Thank you.